Hey everybody, it's Alyssa with WDW Bound and today I'm going to talk about five ways to have an absolutely amazing Disney moon. So number one right out of the gate is going to be probably the most controversial and it's this. Go places other than Disney property. We actually did a split stay on our trip, staying two nights at the Aventura Hotel at Universal Studios Orlando and then five nights at Old Key West Resort at Disney World. We also ventured outside of the parks, visiting the Disney character outlets, which are the, uh, you know, the warehouses. There are two total in Orlando, just an FYI, and then had multiple sit-down meals at CityWalk. Number two on the list, splurge on the resort. This will be one of your most memorable vacations, so it's totally okay to spend more than you normally would on your resort. We personally love to rent DVC points to stay deluxe for half the price, which is exactly what my husband and I did on our honeymoon. If you're interested in learning about renting DVC points, I'll leave a link to our how-to guide in the description down below. Also, I know it's tempting to just go, 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 because there's so much to see and do, but make sure to dedicate at least some time to take breaks. We love to take a couple hours just to relax at the resort during the heat of the day, which helps maximize your time in the parks when it's not so hot and crowded. Number three on the list, have some unique dining experiences. If you're a Disney veteran like myself, but your life partner to be isn't, this is a perfect opportunity for you both to have new experiences together. Don't let yourself fall into the habit of booking tried and true dining push yourself to try something new and different so you can make mutual memories together. Number four goes along with the same theme as number three, and that's doing unique experiences within the parks themselves. Book a behind the scenes tour like the Wild Africa Trek in Animal Kingdom, or splurge on a VIP tour or holiday party tickets. The memories you will make will definitely be worth the extra cost and you'll be talking about it for years to come. Last but certainly not least, and probably most important to me, coming at number five, getting those celebration pins, wearing those matching shirts, doing whatever you want to do to tell the world that you're celebrating. My husband and I wore matching t-shirts on multiple days during our honeymoon, and it was amazing the attention it got us. Cast members are always so excited to see that you're spending such a special trip with them, and often they will sprinkle a little extra pixie dust your way to make it that much more special. It may seem a little hokey, but trust me, it really makes your trip that much more memorable when people are just randomly congratulating you as you walk by, and we even got a couple free desserts. They also make great conversation starters. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we made new friends in every line that we stood in. So there you have it. There are our five tips and tricks on having a most magical Disney moon slash honeymoon. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this helped you. We hope that this maximizes and makes your future trips that much more magical. If you liked this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any recommendations for others that might could, you know, be watching and looking for other recommendations as well. And we'll see you next time.